y'all welcome to the style chronicles i wanted to share a fall outfit with you guys a great way to transition some of your summer pieces into fall and also um, i believe this is the beginning of my back to school week of jeans um, looks so hopefully i will be able to get up five um, blue jean looks for an entire week so let me get started this is going to be a wide leg pant look um, I think the wide leg trend comes and goes. It never goes away. It just kind of stays in the background um, for a year or two at a time. And then it comes back and it's like, wow, wide leg pants are so flattering. And it's a wonder why we don't wear them more often. I know for myself, it's been a struggle to get back into some of my pants that I owned before I had my daughter Harper. Um, but now that I'm back into them, I'm loving them. And I'm finding they're so fun to wear and just they're so unique especially in a sea of skinny jeans um, wide leg jeans just stand out and they're very chic and they're just so beautiful and I think it's a great way to transition your summer wedges into fall is to wear them with a pair of wide leg uh, pants wide leg pants need something more substantial underneath them um, on your feet you need you just need like a block essentially um, a little stiletto heel does absolutely nothing for the wide leg pant look um, so yeah something just a little bit chunkier um, that gives you elevation for sure because with a wide leg you don't want to go your normal height you want to go taller so that it's more elongating um, so that is like your opportunity to wear your four inch three inch you know five inch wedges if you have them um, because it just makes you look miles long, um, especially if you're really short like I am. I'm 5'2". So that's that. Um, quickly, let's see. Um, we are getting back into the swing of things in general, getting things together for school, and yes, making our schedules and just kind of getting to bed early and all of those things. So I hope you guys are doing well, and I will show you the look, and then I'll come back and tell you what I have on. Stay tuned. So really quickly on my um, on my what on my body on my uh, my shirt is from Express. It is a Portofino. It is this beautiful floral print. It's kind of a slate blue with um, some chartreuse and a little bit of like what is that teal, some red and a little bit of fuchsia. It's got like hints of yellow. It's just a beautiful I think all around floral blouse. I've been on the hunt for like a floral shirt. Um, button-down blouse to wear and a lot of the patterns that I find I really don't care for but this one I really did like it looks to me it looks like it could go oriental at times um, but just a good fall blouse um, so yeah it's a Portofino from Express surprise surprise those are my favorite shirts I purchase Portofinos any opportunity I get because I just love them they're comfortable they don't gape here for me they have a very nice you know presentation around the neckline so you've got this good collar this clean line you can wear a necklace if you'd like you can leave it bare you have the you have the um option you have the option of wearing it unbuttoned or buttoned now for me these portofinos the button the long sleeve ones they don't work unbuttoned the um they're too large around here i think to wear them nicely unbuttoned you know buttoned up um, so if you're looking for like a buttoned up long sleeve shirt, I really wouldn't recommend the Portofinos for that, but for a very casual look like this for work or for day or even weekends on a, with a pair of shorts, I think this is really, really nice. Um, I'll show you what I mean by the sleeve is too loose or something like that. Um, so this is a small in the Portofino and you can just see how long that sleeve is. And so if you were going to wear this out in terms of tailored looks 
this is not a very tailored look it's just blousey it hangs um, this is really large like this if it was tailored properly this should be a lot higher and this should be a lot snugger uh, on my arm and it's just not so I don't think it looks great <laughs> unbuttoned um, but like I said if you're gonna wear them but rolled up that they look great so there's that and yes there is another button here that I didn't do but it, it wouldn't have helped it it's that's just the way they are um, so yeah and the the extra small actually fits my sleeve but then it doesn't fit my bust so I have to wear the uh, small size okay and so that is from Express and that is very current it I just got this like I don't know two weeks ago um, and I purchased it online because in store I don't have a lot of luck. So that's that. My necklace is Kinder Scott. I got this from Roxbox. Um, my Tiffany Diamond by the Yard necklace, another pair of Kinder Scott earrings, which I also got through Roxbox. And on my on my waist, I don't know why I say on my, like I'm telling you it's a makeup tutorial. Um, my belt is an initial belt. This was from the Christopher what is his name? I can never remember. He was married to Tori Birch, and he had his own kind of clothing line, accessories line, um, and now they're all on QVC. Christopher Kane, I can't remember his name, but I'll put it down below. And it was an initial belt that I just ordered with the letter H instead of my normal E, um, because it looked very much like the very popular Hermes belt. Um, so I love that, and then the tan leather matches my bag perfectly, which I really do like. My pants are from Express. They're the editor wide leg um, pants, the columnist, but they're wide leg columnist pants um, from Express. And my wedges are my Sam Edelman wedges, which you have seen time and time again throughout the summer because they are just so comfortable and they go with everything and they work really, really nicely. And like I said, transitioning them into fall is easy with wide leg pants because you can continue to wear those wedges. You're only seeing a peak at the bottom. So even if they had seashells all over the ankle, you could get away with wearing them because they're covered. So I just, I really like that. Um, and lastly, mostly my handbag today is my Tory Burch Emerson tote. I don't believe that this is available any longer on the Tory Burch website. Um, I purchased it last year the year before and um it's just been a really good very neutral bag my leathers all match so i'm loving that um, and i like that i can wear it as a tote or use it as a true handbag um, and it's big enough that it fits my children's necessities which now these days it's pretty much just diapers and wipes and a change of clothes um, my son has his own method of carrying things, uh, his wallet, or just mommy put this in your bag every now and then, and my daughter has taken to carrying her own bag. So we are on the road to clutches, <laughs> little clutches again. Um, although I'll never get rid of wearing a big bag because I really like huge bags. So that is all that I have on. Let me tell you about my makeup before I go. Okay. Okay, and for my makeup, um, I have on the MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC20, which is not my true shade. It's a little too yellow, and it actually oxidizes very yellow, but I'm wearing it. I'm owning it for the summer, so I'm going to wear it until it's gone, and then I'm going to switch back to my NC15, which is my regular shade. Um, I wear the Pro Long Wear Concealer under my eyes, and then my mascara today is the Butter London Mascara. Um, I can't remember the name of it, but it's black with a silver wand and let's see my blush is max apple red because i did a red lip my lipstick is nyx liquid suede which is really really pretty i'm a fan of the stila liquid lipsticks and this rivals that um, it's kind of the drugstore version it does not stay put it does transfer that's the only thing stila stay all day does not move it is on it is perfect and it is beautiful this does come off so you will have to touch it up and you will have to um, it'll transfer onto glasses and babies if you kiss them and all over your face with your hair when it moves. So you just kind of mind that. Um, but it's definitely nice and it's very matte. It looks like suede and it's beautiful. And lastly, my Shade and Light, uh, Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. I was very hesitant to jump on this bandwagon and um, I've had kind of a time playing with it, getting to like the colors. Um, I like like this set of warms, I love them a lot. I like them more for mixing with bright pops of color um, on the lid. 
I think it, they, they work in the transition area very, very nicely. These middle ones, I really don't care for, the cool tone palette. I just don't, the black I use because it's black and it just pops that outer corner a little bit or you could use it as liner. Um, but together, they look really muddy on my lid. Like if I was to try contouring with them, they look very muddy. And then midday, they're very gray and ashy and just they don't wear well for me. So that's that. Um, and I also feel like I need something, like my eyes need something when I wear cool tone shadows. With warm tone shadows, I don't get that. I get, I feel good all day long about my eyes. Um, but with cool tones, it just, my face needs something all the time. So these right here are the neutral shades. That's what I'm wearing today. I've got all three of them in my crease and lid, outer lid area and as a highlight. And I do really like those. I think those are really nice. I think they wear very, very nicely with a red lipstick um, as just kind of a neutral palette, if you will, a neutral area because that pop of red is really, really bright. So like I said, I had a little bit of a hard time getting into these. These I liked immediately just because they were warm. These I don't care for, but I will use the black because it's black and everybody needs black. Um, even with warm shadows, you need a black. And then these, it's just taken me a time to get used to them, to wear them, to like them. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. I like this more as a base for other shadows that I will use um, it with them. So that is that. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate all your comments and messages that you guys send me. And um, I, you know, thanks so much for hanging in there. Like I said, I'm really trying this video thing and it's a little crazy um, to get used to the Zoom and where to look. I want to look over here when I need to be looking here and it's very frustrating. Um, so just give me some time and I will get used to it, I promise. Um, but stay tuned for the rest of my week of jeans, back to school looks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.